making some chickpeas. I soaked them overnight and then I threw them into the pressure cooker right now for 10 minutes. This last week we have been hosting Alex's family. So my in-laws have been here in New Zealand. They stayed here at the homestead for about a week and we went over to another part of New Zealand with them and hung out there and then we came back here. So it has been lots of hosting family and it's been wonderful. The family time has been just, it's been so cool to show family from overseas what we've been up to, how life has just completely changed. And while they were staying here with us, they helped us with a couple of projects we have been wanting to do around the land. If you hear that, construction going on in the background it's because we have somebody here in the hallway helping us with that closet that is not finished yet so we've been still working on that and while his parents were here we had people coming in and out of the bathroom finishing up the tiling here and there one thing i have definitely learned throughout this process is renovations take quite a while especially like the little things like the finishing touches for instance like you can have a big transformation overnight if you're putting in like a bathtub and a vanity and stuff like that like obviously when you see something like that come into a space you're like wow that's such a huge difference right away but little things like the trimming and shelving and just like your little finishing touches can take such a long time for it to all be finished especially when you have like several projects going on so you're like oh that little thing to finish it off can can wait a little bit these chickpeas have just come out of the pressure cooker a couple videos ago i made a chickpea salad and i talked about how i like to make chickpea from dry chickpea and a lot of you guys asked me how to do that because it's nice to not buy it from the can because when you like save on waste, I personally think that they're better and they're just better for you when you know that you're not getting them from a can without like, you know, all those preservatives or BPA or whatever. Whatever chemicals are in cans these days, I'm sure you can get stuff that aren't, but um, I just like doing it this way because primarily it reduces waste and you can save money buying it in bulk like that. So I buy them dry and then I soaked these overnight and then I put them in my pressure cooker. We use this pressure cooker, which also is a slow cooker. It's by Crock-Pot. It does all sorts of other things too, um, but it slow cooks, but then it also does pressure cook. And it does like chili bean, meat stews, yogurt even. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm sure it works lovely for that as well. But we use this primarily for slow cooking and pressure cooking and I really like using it for chickpeas. So I only put it in for 10 minutes because I soaked it overnight last night. And then I'm gonna put it in a little everywhere and keep it in the fridge and just kind of add it wherever I want. Over the last couple of days, I definitely feel like I've been prepping to get back into our routine. So that looks like, you know, doing a deep clean of the house, like washing towels and sheets. I vacuumed the whole house and just like cleaned the tub. Another way that I like to sort of reset for the week or prep for the week is to think about the things that we'll be eating. So we made a stew last night for dinner that we'll probably have tonight because there's leftovers. Um, but yesterday we were at the grocery store and I almost bought refried beans in a can. And then I went, oh, I don't really want like from a can because there was nothing on the can that said like, you know, preservatives or anything like that. And I just like, I don't know. I'm just trying to be more mindful about that kind of stuff. So I put them back and I was just like, eh, I don't need refried beans right now. And then I got home and realized that a while ago in bulk, I bought pinto beans and that they were in some of the jars that I have there. And I was like, hey, I can make my own refried beans. I've done it before. Um, and I just didn't even realize when I was at the grocery store that I had these in a jar. So I came home and was like, oh, I should totally soak these to make my own refried beans. Probably won't make the actual refried beans tonight, but I will put these in the pressure cooker just like I did the chickpeas so that I have the pinto beans to make refried beans whenever I want. Out my window right now as I cook, I see 
the sheep, so Wilson and friends. And then beyond that, you can see all of the cattle grazing back up into the valley. So pretty. I love home appliances that just make life a little bit easier. <laughs> like the crock pot. All right, so we click on pressure cook. And then we're gonna go down to, I'm gonna do 12 minutes. Loading the common. Night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. I recently picked up this little exercise ball that I've been loving for like ab workouts and just like stretches and stuff like that. Anytime I put my yoga mat down, Walker comes and sits on it. Does anybody else's dog do that too? He's just, even, you guys have seen some of my videos when I go to meditate, he's just like right by my side too. He like to be here with me, right? And I have wanted yoga blocks for the longest time. We were just in Wellington and we went to this like sports store and I saw these and I was just like, I've got to do it. I've wanted them for so long. They're great for like certain yoga moves, but also just like great for stretching. Okay, Lanka, I'm gonna do some Pilates now. So I'm gonna need you to move. This isn't gonna work. Come on. Come on, here. Come on, Lanka. You don't have to go this way. You can go sleep in our bed. I know you want to. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do this 20 minute Pilates hit with Move with Nicole on YouTube. I'm just getting a quick YouTube ad. Yes, I get those too. Okay. Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a 20 minute low impact Pilates hit class. Here we go. workout only 25 minutes but was good stretch felt good afterwards I used that little ball to stretch out and it was nice I'm going to do the daily calm that I do so I use the calm app I've used it for many years I have a subscription to it and there's something called the daily calm and Tamara Levitt is the narrator and I'm gonna click on worry because aren't we all just worried about the world these days. And I'm, I'm gonna do this. Love it. They're and usually today around we'll 10 minutes. we'll be exploring minutes. the habit of worry. Start by taking a comfortable position, allowing your arms to rest gently by your side. This is like my favorite part of the day. Last night I did it in the bath, but. And whenever you're ready, close your eyes. Let the weight of your body soften, releasing down into those places of contact and pressure. And to pause any mental activity occupying your mind, take a few deep breaths, inhaling deeply, and then exhaling the breath. Letting all the muscles in your body relax. And taking another deep breath, holding for a moment, and then exhaling. Letting all the muscles in your body feel loose. I was hoping to get out in the garden today, but there doesn't seem to be much sunshine today. It looks like it's, yeah, it's sprinkling a bit. Alex is over on the other side of the property. He's burning some sticks and stuff because 
On one side of our property, there are just so many sticks you can barely walk around. So I think he's just like burning them off so that they all just kind of go away. <laughs> The reason I'm doing a burn down here today on this kind of overcast, drizzly day is essentially we need to take care of a huge pile of limbs and stumps and pieces of trees that used to be here that were downed um, before we got here. And essentially, if you leave these trees and these stumps, they're willow, then they will start to plant new willow trees. And while that sounds like a good thing, the thing about willow is that it grows really, really quickly and it takes over uh, from other tree species. So we have a lot of different trees planted here, natives, fruit trees, ornamentals, and the willows, they're great. They help with, you know, stopping erosion and stuff. But um, if we just leave this here, then in, all of these different stumps and logs, there will just be tons of new willow trees growing. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that it's wet to do a really like neat and tidy controlled burn because there's a lot of flammable stuff down here. And if we were to do this when the rest of everything was drier, it would be a lot more dangerous. So it's also just cleaning up the area. Cleaning up the area. and then Because we'll... these were already here. It was like somebody had- They would down this tree two trees out down the here. trees already so we we're not really downing any trees we're just burning the leftover the stuff that I already came through here and processed everything that would be good for firewood for us and that's already all stacked up in the firewood area but these are too big to cut they're too gnarled hey. and uh, they just need to be burnt midday bonfire yeah even when it rains it's still such a beautiful day I just love the weather in New Zealand, honestly. It's just like, yeah, there are storms that come through and you can get annoyed by the rain when it's been like a week nonstop, but it brings us water, as you can hear. And we have so much rainwater filling our tanks that we just have, whoop, I just almost slipped. We just have, so much water, which is such a blessing. You know, our whole house can run on rainwater because there's so much of it here and just have to be grateful for that. I mentioned this on my Instagram yesterday and I wanted to talk about it in this YouTube video because I'm just still astonished by it. I'm thinking about it every day, like at least five times a day since it happened. The other night, we were driving home from Wellington. I didn't get video of it, but I did get photos of it. It was the evening, past sunset. The moon was up, and it was a bright moon that day. And I saw a rainbow in the sky. And I was like, how is that possible? It's the evening. The sun has set, and that's a rainbow. And so I looked it up on Google because I was just like, that's a rainbow. And Alex was like, that, that can't be a rainbow. And I was like, look at it. And so he stops and he looks at it and he's like, yeah, that is a rainbow, what the heck? So I Google rainbow at night and it's a thing. It's a phenomenon that happens rarely, but it's like when a light, like the moonlight shines through a droplet and creates, I saw a full rainbow. And we just sat, sat there astonished in the car. Like we, turn off, we turned off all the lights in the car and we were just like, wow. And it was called a moonbow or a lunar rainbow. And it's rare, it's a phenomenon that happens very rarely because there's not enough, like obviously the light that the moon gives off is a lot less than the sun. So it doesn't happen often because there's just not enough light to create a moonbow regularly. But it was just so beautiful. And I asked people on Instagram, have you ever seen one? And so many people were like, no, I've never even heard of it. I had never heard of it. So 
it was just incredible. Our planet is just the coolest and it surprises me all the time in the best way. And so I wanted to share with you guys some of the photos of the moon bow and ask you if you knew about it, if you've ever seen one. If you have, let me know in the comments because I just thought it was the coolest thing. I lose my breath whenever I see you. you do my life was great till you added colors like the moon needs the sun we don't care about the others you set my world on fire you're my heart's desire just sat down for lunch and I'm very excited about this. I've been very into lunch lately. I normally have a tendency hi Lanka, to skip lunch and I've been trying not to do that lately and I've been really enjoying a good, a good lunch time. So on my plate I have the artichoke and cheese panini with avocado, tomato, and cheese and artichoke and then I've got a pickle. Yum! Love a good pickle with a sandwich. And then this chickpea salad. And I really love making this in advance. Like I love food prepping with a chickpea salad. If you wanna know how to make this, it's really nice. You can watch my last vlog because I showed the recipe on exactly how I do that. And I love to keep it in the fridge because it's such a great addition to just have for lunch or to addition for even breakfast sometimes I love to add it, like on the side of my eggs and potatoes and all that kind of stuff. And I also love it as a side for dinner. So it's really versatile and it's really delicious. And I'm going to enjoy this lunch now. And I'm having some coconut water on the side. I'm very excited about this. So good, so good. The panini press, it's so good. I am going to take advantage the weather right now and I'm gonna curl up inside for a little bit and read. Maybe for like, I probably only have like 30 minutes left of this book, honestly. It is called In Five Years. I was reading something else actually. I was reading something that I got at a bookstore here in town. It was called Wild at Heart. I'm going to read that next as soon as I finish with this, which is probably gonna be today. Alex's mom actually found this book. I was reading it I maybe read like a couple of pages and then I have no idea where it went. I think I was reading it in LA. She found it in a box that she shipped here to New Zealand. So she opened it and this was in there and I was like, oh, I started reading that. And I don't know how it got in that box or whatever, but I read like the first chapter. I switched from the book I was reading and just read a chapter of this and then it just sucked me in and I'm almost done with it. I've just been like going through this very quickly. The chapters are super short. But it's really interesting and I feel like it's about to take a twist. It's a romance, but like has lots of different elements to it. This girl's living in New York. Her best friend is really sick. And there's this really strange romance situation going on. And I think that there's gonna be a twist in the plot just based off of like the reviews in the back. And I can just feel that it's coming the whole time. I don't know, it keeps you on your toes. It's, it's really good. So if you're looking for a fun novel that you'll just breeze through and you could literally finish this in a day probably, I've just been hosting and like going all sorts of different play places. But like since I've been home the last couple of days, I'm almost done with it. So then I'm gonna read Wild at Heart because that was really good too. I just kind of like, do you ever start a book and then you start another one and then you're like, I'll get back to you later. That's what I've done. And so I'm just gonna curl up here and read a bit. And then I'm probably gonna take a bath because it's the weekend and it's one of those perfect days for a really cozy read. And then maybe a little bit of a read in the bath. It sounds nice too with a cup of tea. Yes, please. 